me and and in today's video I'm continuing my look at the Carry On series of films and this is Carry On England from 1976 now this is the 28th release there's only two more you're thinking thank heavens for that and we are getting really scraping the bottom of the barrel perhaps uh, here um yes <laughs> let me just we've just had before this we had carry on behind which wasn't too bad really was it 1975 and then after this we've got that's carry that's carry on um 1977 and um well that's a clip one as well so it's all clips from all the carry on films i don't know if that says much about it but they were open to um i suppose as a last cash in if you want put it like that um because this film was um a flop there's no doubt about it the public were just falling out of love with carry on films and um in some cinemas this was withdrawn after three days three days oh boy what was going on okay let's get into it and you might get a clue why um it's um 89 minutes long and um as i say out of the original 30 films of the original ones we don't carry, carry on coming, but this is a 28th release and it is on rotten tomatoes 27 percent and for once you have to kind of uh, understand where they're coming from um public critics i don't know whether they're just done with it or had enough uh it's written by david purcell and jack send on um the script i think there was a lot of problems with the script um Produced by Peter Rogers, as usual, and directed by Gerald Thomas. Um, the cast is, of course, the interesting part of this film. And the one who's top of the bill would be Kenneth Connor as Captain S. Melly. Um, then we've got Windsor Davis returning uh, after in Carry On Behind. Um, he plays Sergeant Major um, Boomer. Now, it's really an exact copy of his um, Sergeant Major character in Ain't Our Mom. <laughs> yeah, were well, from 1974 to 1981, he was uh, starring in that. And of course, he went on as well to star in Never the Twain, 1981 to 1991. He was very successful. But in this... He's, he's just the same Sergeant Major, <laughs> yes. Then we've got Jack Douglas again. Um, he plays Bombardier Reddy. Yeah, the names are still there. Then we've got Peter Jones, who plays the Brigadier. He made a previous appearance in Carry On Doctor 1967, and he doesn't make any more appearances. And then we've got Peter Butterworth. Oh, yes. He plays a uh, major cast as Peter Butterworth. It's it's kind of sad, really, seeing this. Um, it's a small role, and uh, he's hardly in it. And he's there doing his best with what he's got. And the same, of course, goes for Joan Sims. I mean, she's such a stalwart. She deserves better than this, you almost feel. Uh, she plays... Um, Private Jennifer F. Uh, F. Fuchs Sharp or something like that. Um, that's her name. And honestly, she's not really in it that much. It's it's she's underused. Um, it's so sad because she's 
been such a great servant to uh, the Carry On films that she's just given this. Um, it is sad. Uh, then we've got Patrick Mower playing Sergeant Len Amor. Um, he had an interesting film career. Uh, he was in The Devil Rides Out, Hammer film, 1968. Uh, also, Cry of the Banner 1970, which I've talked about before, which is a Vincent Price horror film. But of course, if you're into your soaps, I, I don't know, but apparently he's in Emmerdale and he's been in there since 2000. So he's quite a long time in that. He's a stalwart of that, apparently. Then we've got another familiar face to some extent is Judy Jason. She plays Sergeant Tilly Willing. So you've got the Joe Willing and Abel, them two paired together. Um, she was in the uh, film Berserk 1967, which starred Joan Crawford. It was a horror film. Uh, also in a classic 10 Rillington plays, 1970, she was in that. She was in a Hammer film, oh yes, Fear in the Night, 1972 Hammer film. And finally, a very interesting film, she was in Insomnioid, uh, Inseminoid, sorry, Inseminoid, 1981. It's a sci-fi horror film, very enjoyable, that one. Um, totally potty. <laughs> yes, uh, then we've got... Diane Langton playing uh, Private Alice Easy. She's almost like the, she's not blonde, but she's almost like the sort of Barbara Windsor kind of impersonation. It's, 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 it's that bad, isn't it, this? Really. Uh, she was in notable films where similar vein, similar character, the British sex comedies of that period don't just lie there and say something, 1974, Percy's Progress, 1975, and then loads and loads of TV things. There's more, the, the rest of the cast are just more, a lot of them just like extras, really hardly in it. That's the main sort of, core of the cast um it was uh filmed at pinewood studios um and the orchard again was utilized at um pinewood studios as it had been in uh carry on camping and carry on behind you know for the campsite and um caravan sites it was used again for this uh and black Park, of course, um, at um, Ivor Eve, that's in um, Buckinghamshire, um, that was used again. All these familiar things. It's obviously budget cutting as well on this as well, even more. So I think it's it's quite clear. Um, uh, uh, another interesting sort of trivia fact is that the Imperial War Museum um, sort of loaned out the gun uh, that was used. They had to pay quite a, a, well, you know, a sum for that. And it was under guard, apparently, watching it. Uh, they used that in the filming. Um, and um, let me just say what the film is about. It's set in 1940 and... You know, the Nazis are just over there in France. The invasion could come. And Captain S. Melly, yeah, that's Kenneth Connor's character. You can see already they're put on there. He's put in charge of this. Uh, well, they're a troublesome lot in terms of um, the hierarchy of the you know, It's a mixed sex um sort of unit of, of people camp together they are in fact an anti-aircraft battery um point you know so when the planes fly over they're shooting at them and the germans you know stopping the invasion um 
And he's sent there because they don't know what to do with them. And they, he seems the right clown character that they can use to hopefully sort it out because nobody wants to do it. So they send him. And there we are. That's the story. And we just get the adventures of them being there. A few jokes, a few slapstick entertainment bits, the usual innuendos. Oh, and also because they thought, oh, we don't know what to do. We'll give it a bit more nudity. You see a lot more breasts, which unfortunately for them meant they were given uh, an AA certificate. So they had to change that. Um, they had to make some cuts. Um, again, all these things were not before they they were smarter before the carry on team then they this is just not very smart I, actually I, i'm going to be honest if kenneth connor and windsor davis were not in this film i don't even know where we would even start how bad it is they do their best and as i say uh you know i feel so sorry for um Joan Sims, you know, just given this in Peter Butterworth. It's just a damp squib, really, and it's such a shame. It really is. We know we really are at the end of it, and um, the barrel is really, truly being scraped. That that is how it seems to me. It it's a mu it's amusing. You could just watch it, but it's not. It just lost that magic that uh, we'd all enjoyed, I think, so much. And it's very sad, but there we are. Um, and we knew this has been going on slowly. There has been a shift. Um, it's, it's as bad as that, really. Um, so would I recommend this? Um, I, If you're a carry-on you know, fan, then watch it, but don't expect anything. It's not going to do much. And if you don't watch it, then you're not wasting your time, I don't think. Uh, but, you know, it's there. And as I say, the next one is going to be Eclipse Show, which, you know, is, uh, that's always a sign when you've got a clip show that uh, they put into a film. It's always a bad sign, it seems to me, you know, um, that they've run out of ideas. And of course, in the apart, I've never seen the last one, which is uh, Carry On Emmanuel, and that is considered one of the worst. So we'll see uh, when we get there, which we're nearly there. Um, and that's it. Yes, I'll just show this. It still don't detract. This box set has been absolutely fantastic. What a box set this is it's wonderful and you know the the amount of films that are not as good is relatively small isn't it really compared with all of them you know i mean you think of carry on sergeant when it all started compared with this one which was carry on sergeant was an army based one it's a million miles better than this carry on sergeant a million miles better um but there we are this is just uh, it's terrible really it's, but it's all you know there we are so um that's it if you're new to the channel uh please subscribe and uh, we'll let you know when i produce these videos uh and also if you do like this um please give it a like it helps with algorithms and gets my channel sort of hopefully notice that people might actually want to watch it. Or perhaps they don't. And all this costs notes. So you can't say fair than that. And if you've got any comments, I'd love to read what you think about it and what your views are. And, uh, fantastic. It's really good to read your comments. And that's it. Yes. So all I've got to say is I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.